<clears throat> Ireland might be a good grab, too. Although the United Kingdom's probably going to get really pissed and declare war on me, and then they have Northern England, or Northern Ireland, and then they're just going to take it all back, and then it'll be English, and then I'll just end up having to take it again from them. So. Now, when you're making an army, there's, there's two different ways to do it. There's mass, and there's attack power. Now, you see here, this is how uh, hard you attack somebody. Now, 40, and this is his defense. 40 would never defeat 73, okay? It would just be stomped, because it's it, it you need uh, a uh, a three to one uh, advantage when you're attacking or else you're never going to be able to uh, take a defensive position so 243 let's see although not in this game it that doesn't apply in here not necessarily now what I'd like to do is I'd like to keep a division on each region a division being a hundred or a 10,000 men, uh, a division on each region, so then if they do try, attempt to strike out at me while I'm taking their, uh, their country, they won't be able to take any, any land, you know what I'm saying, and then take Spain over while I'm fighting over here, they'll just swoop in, and because this is all undefended, and then they'll have more territory than I do, very quickly. I was going to play as Yugoslavia. Thank God I didn't. Oh, there's Sweden, or Norway, Sweden, Denmark's taken. Really, all that's left to stop them from taking over the world is France, the United Kingdom. And, and that's it, really. I, I would probably have to ally up with them. You know what? That might not be a bad idea. Maybe I could ally with them beforehand. And then I could take these two countries because they're not going to enemy me after the fact. That might be a good idea. I think I will do that. Let's see what kind of navy do I have to hit Ireland. Uh, ooh, yes, good. Okay. I have a navy with transportation capabilities. Awesome. Okay. Alright, well. Let's see, am I ready to attack Portugal? Yeah, it's 200. I'm going to make uh, two more mounted infantry, too, and then I think I'm going to attack. This, oh, shit, dude. I'm. What am I doing? I'm not paying any attention. Oh, nope, I'm not dead. I have so much uh, IPU, I didn't realize I could be upgrading everything. See up here? I had a lot, lot left over and a lot of resources to build all these factories, and in the beginning, I didn't. I didn't realize I'm at turn 48 already. This game goes by very quickly. At least in the beginning. Very first turns load very quickly. Now I want what I need is to get uh, infantry three unlocked, because then that'll that'll at least put me middle of the road infantry infantry weapons three, and then I can go toe to toe with the Germans at least if I have a, a large army. I won't be able to go one to one with them. I'll probably have to go three to one, but that's a lot better than five or six to one, which is what I would have to do now. Quest Alliance Treaty? Yes, alright. See, now uh, that I am allied with them, the French are now at war with the Portuguese, and 